The topic that we're going to talk today is vitamin C excess. Let's get into it. Vitamin C is a type of antioxidant and it helps protect the body from free radicals that damage and or destroy otherwise healthy cells. In this respect, getting enough of the nutrient is just one way you can support your own body and protect it from the illnesses. For most people, an orange or cup of strawberries chopped red pepper or broccoli provides enough vitamin C for the day. And some other sources are bell peppers, broccoli, kiwi, potatoes, strawberries and lastly tomatoes. In vitamin C deficiency, what you are gonna get is scurvy. And most symptoms of scurvy caused by leaky blood due to dysfunctional collagen synthesis in the vessels and endothelial cells because vitamin C is required for collagen synthesis. And if you are deficient, you cannot create more collagen and that cause easy bruising, swollen gums and corkscrew hair. And we have a specific video about this topic. You can reach from the description. And what are the clinical findings of vitamin C excess? And the most common symptoms are nausea, vomiting and diarrhea, fatigue, increased iron toxicity. This is important in hemochromatosis patients. They are at increased risk of vitamin C toxicity because vitamin C increases iron's availability and that is specifically important for hemochromatosis. We're going to talk about it in a minute. And another finding that you are going to see is calcium oxalate kidney stones, and you are seeing an example of it. Another concern regarding excessive vitamin C intake that it can impair the body's ability to process other nutrients. For example, vitamin C may reduce the levels of vitamin B12 and copper in the body. People with hemochromatosis are in danger of a vitamin C overdose. This condition causes your body to store excessive amounts of iron, which is exacerbated by taking too much vitamin C. And this condition can lead to body tissue damage. On picture, you are seeing a normal person with hemochromatosis patients. In hemochromatosis, iron build up in the tissues. Other symptoms of vitamin C excess are heartburn, abdominal cramps, headache, insomnia, and vitamin C supplements may also interact with certain medications. This is especially true of medications for heart disease and cancer. And be sure to check with your doctor before taking any supplement. And vitamin C megadoses are claimed to have preventive and curative effects on diseases such as cancer and AIDS, but the available scientific evidence does not support these claims. And some trials show some effect in combination with other therapies. This does not imply vitamin C megadoses in themselves have any therapeutic effects. And some studies have found that doses above 200 mg are not utilized by the body. Instead, the extra vitamin C comes out in your pee. Don't take more unless your doctor says so. As a summary, at recommended doses, vitamin C supplements are safe. However, they can cause upset stomach heartburn, cramps, and headaches in some people, and high doses of vitamin C can cause more intense symptoms such as kidney stones and severe diarrhea. And lastly, if a person suspects that their vitamin C intake may be causing side effects, they should talk to their doctor. And this is the end of the video. If you liked it, please push that like button, subscribe to my channel, and see you on the next video.